Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and we're going to be taking a look at the multi-window feature on this device see how well it loads applications, whether or not there's any performance issues and see what else you can do with it basically Now just to show you, I'm running stock Android Jelly Bean so this is Android Jelly Bean 4.1.1 as you can see there no modifications at all to it as it comes on the device so in order to load up the multi-window feature what you need to do is hold down the back button and it loads a tab along the left hand side of the screen which you can sort of go in and out no matter what screen you're in so if I'm in a folder there I want to pop it open I can do it from there now if I go back to my home screen just load it open this is scrollable uh, it's a list of applications which uh, are compatible with uh, the multi window feature so it's not going to have all your applications in there so what you can do is hit edit down there you can add and remove applications from this side of the screen which are already compatible so if I hit edit again say if I want to move messaging out of here because I don't want it always there say if I want to move maps out of there as well whoops hit edit again because it's on a timer there we go move that out of the way and if I want to add something back in again just drag and drop and it will allow you to go back in you gotta be quick though as you saw there so what we'll do that's now done we'll load up say for example YouTube will be a good one streaming video so once it loads up my channel feed what we'll do is we'll load up uh, one of the videos here we go ask the Hodge twins they're very good funny videos so if you haven't checked those out check those guys out on there as well so once that starts uh, loading or working or playing for that matter open up the tab and see if you uh, can load up another application so in this case what we're going to be doing is loading up uh, the video player so hold that down drag it to the top or bottom of the screen whichever you prefer I'm going to put it on that side and just move it around there and then what I'm going to do is load up a video as well on here we're going to be loading up the wonders of nature video as you can see the audio at the moment as it is is playing from the YouTube so we'll just load that and you'll notice, if I turn that up, audio is playing from there as well as the YouTube video, true multitasking at its best. And if you want to move the slider, make one video, video rather bigger than the other, you can just move the slider around. If you want to switch them around, just use the little two arrows TV button there and sometimes you can get to it by pressing these two little links at the end of the divider there if you want one to be full screen just press the full screen button tap on the one side if you want to mute the volume on that one and the other one keeps on playing what we'll do is we'll hit play there again both are playing at the same time as you can see we'll hit one to be full screen being this and it shuts the other one off or pauses it rather so if you go back in and if I load again YouTube but this time on this side I can pick up where I left off with that video and it starts bringing it in again that video is finished playing so it stops so what we'll do is well this one is playing what we'll do is we'll load up uh, say the internet so bring that over to this side it replaces it here we go it loads up so here we go uh, I'll tap in there to change the URL and it brings up a floating keyboard which you can move around on the screen as well and that's pretty cool so here we go I'm just going to cover them up slightly so here we go uh, Google UK and then it loads it okay do searches on it so if I search for I don't know Android Oop, I can't spell but hey ho we'll do go with that and there you go it's done a search for the incorrectly spelled Android and that works fine in terms of a browser do the same again making this bigger and then moving it down moving it around it works vertical as well as horizontal as well and that works really well and even if I want to swap the application again say if I want something else in there like Facebook just drag and drop that as well and you can do status updates from here uh, brings up the, the floating keyboard again as it did with the, the browser one 
Type in whatever you want, hit post, and it'll post it as normal. I'm just going to put the volume down because the twins can get a little bit out of hand sometimes. So hit back if I want to make that bigger, hit full screen. And if I bring the twins back in again, as I did before, just drag and drop it. It buffers back in. Hit play when you're ready. And then say if I want to uh, do it full screen when it plays again, just allow it to sync back up. And what we'll do, hit this, go full screen, and there you go. That's a very handy feature, the multi-window feature on the Galaxy Note 2. Shows the true multitasking capabilities of this device and it works beautifully. So if you get a chance, try it out. It works awesomely. No problems at all while I've been testing it here. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time